view the status board and the status board can be located on any network PC or laptop in your unit. With the status board, you're gonna have visibility around the patient safety environment. We're gonna see a room number. We're gonna see the patient name. We may see visibility to patient notes as well as any risk indicators that the patient may experience. We're also gonna have visibility to any calls that are currently active in the patient room environment, as well as visibility to the wait time of that particular call. We may have visibility to assigned staff, as well as staff in room. We can also see rounding times and rounding due times, as well as bed data. So now here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna see information occurring real time. A patient places a normal call. We can see under the call column, we have a normal call as well as the active wait time for that patient. If we activate a code blue, with a code blue, that's a priority call. You can see on the ribbon, it's illuminated in the color red as a quick identifier the patient room, and what type of emergency a call is occurring. Here we have code blue. If staff is utilizing the staff locating platform on the status board, we can see staff located in the room, as well as the title of that staff member. Here you can see we have Brian RN located in room 200. Next, we're gonna talk about bed data when you have a Hillrom smart bed. With the Hillrom smart bed, you're gonna have visibility to many factors around patient safety. You can have visibility to whether a patient is present in the bed. The green body is an indicator that we have a patient weight detected in that bed. We can also see visibility to side rail position of the bed. Currently, we have a bed that's located in the room 200 with three side rails up, one side rail down. At any time the patient lowers the side rail, we receive an immediate response that there's been a change in the patient's safety environment. We can also see an indicator on whether or not the patient's bed exit is set. Currently the bed exit is not set, but a care team member enters the room and places the patient with a bed exit on we will see a change in the indicator. We now can see that the patient's bed exit has been set. In the event that a patient leaves the bed after a bed exit has been armed and the bed exit is alarming, you will see a change in the status on the status board indicating bed exit alarm. We can also see currently that the bed is positioned in the low position if the patient or family member adjusts the bed, we will see an immediate change that the bed is no longer in a low position. We can also see an indicator with a check mark that the break is set on the bed. The next indicator is the head of bed location. When the patient's repositioning head of bed, we can see that in real time, the location of the head of bed. The next indicator is the patient weight. Once the patient's weight is obtained, it can be visible on the status board as well. We have many columns that are visible here for you to see. However, at your organization, you may choose to select any of the columns visible to your area or hide any of those columns for you. As well on the status board, you can see the different units, as well as different facilities that are on your network, as well as any staff located in a full picture for staff visibility with staff locating. I'd like to thank you for your time. And if you have any further questions, please visit hillrom.com or contact your local Hillrom representative.